2,500 years ago, a wandering former Indian prince named Gautam journeyed to the ancient Indian city of Benares. On a hot July day, the man who would become known as the Buddha talked for the first time about his experiences during meditation. Neuroscientists now know that the meditating brain physically rewires itself. White matter rearranges, gray matter thickens, and different brainwave frequencies are even emitted. This is where my journey began. I wanted to build a tool to help my brain learn how to meditate. So I began a journey through the Himalayan mountains in search of meditating monks. For nine months, I went from monastery to monastery with my laptop and some brainwave sensing equipment in my backpack, searching for monks who were meditating and asking them if I could record their brainwaves while they did so. So this is B. B is wearing an experimental app based on those monks' brainwaves. In real time, her mental activity is being analyzed on her iPhone, turning her brainwaves into musical notes. Just like a baby learning language for the first time, eventually these notes become a familiar melody of your mind, a new sixth sense. When B experiences calm for a moment, she learns to associate that melody in her brain with the feeling of calmness. So say B is feeling anxious. She might play her calm melody back to herself to guide herself back into that state of increased meditation and calmness. So with this reverse mapping between the sound and the mental state, B's new sixth sense almost becomes like a sort of cybernetic Buddha sitting on her shoulder, guiding her to a state of increased calm and meditation. So BrainBot is just a proof of concept, and you'll be able to download a similar version of the app yourself. But as algorithms improve and newer and newer technologies are released, tools like BrainBot will only improve. It may actually be possible to measure more waking states than simply meditation, allowing people to enter creative flow states or even states of joy at will. The time is now coming when cybernetic devices will allow us to peer into our own minds. What we do with that awareness is a choice that we will all have to make. I hope to hear the melody of our minds with all of you in a world of one billion cybernetic Buddhas. Thank you.